Good morning, it's Nancy today. I have a new place to sit. I brought a chair down. I came down when it was dark. It was just about 5.30 or 5.45. I came down early because the sun hadn't risen, the, the moon had just set, and there was the first light of morning. I came down because I wanted to identify the spring peepers and the other frogs. I made a list of all the frogs that we have in our area, and then I made up mnemonics so that I can, you know, like, the spring peepers say, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm, uh, something, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. And the different ones, I've made up different mnemonics for them so that I can just learn those mnemonics and then I can identify the frogs. Anyway, let's show you what's here. Okay, first of all, this is my chair. It's just an old chair I found at the dump. Now here, we have some water right alongside me. And it moves slightly. If I sit and look at it, I can see... I'm not sure if there's a little breeze. I don't see any ripples. So it's likely it's just a breeze. Now over there you can see there's still ice. The snow. That's because this is the north side of the... of the hill. It's hidden. So I've been watching for frogs. And now that I've redirected the street, the, the waterfall... See, the waterfall... I don't know exactly where you see it from here, but it's over there in that area somewhere. It's going to fill this area with water permanently. That would be kind of nice. Then maybe we can have American bitterns back again. I really like the bitterns. Now look at this here. A beaver has been trying to chew this down, chew this this cluster of, of bushes. Look at how high that is. It's about two and a half feet high where he started to chew it. Look at over here. Uh, he's he's taken down that one over there. And then he's got this one and this one. And back here you can see the chunks of them. He did a lot of work. Look at this pile. Isn't this interesting? When he felled this tree, all the grapevines that were in the tree have fallen into a pile. I'd like to use those grapevines and do something. You know what I saw once? A bunch of grapevines, they were wound up into a big ball, and there was also a string of lights there wound up into the ball with them. Wouldn't that be nice? Then you could plug it in, I could hang it from my shelter around the yard. So when I'm working out there, I've got, in the dark, you know, I've got this ball of light. I think that would be kind of nice. I certainly have a lot of them now. And so accessible, too. Now see the end of this log here, the beaver have um, logged it. They, he cuts it off. He wants the top, nothing else. So, well, I guess they do like the bark everywhere, but anyway, so they, they cut it into sections and log it, and then they take it away and put it on their dam after they finish eating the bark off. And there's another dead one out there. Looks like another one over there. Well, I just wanted to introduce you to this spot. I'm going to call this place Frog Way, this little entrance. I'll show you my chair. I'll just get out of it, come over here, and I'll show you. So we have this entrance from the road, and there's this old chair. And it's in a perfect spot, really, you know, but look at it. It's down here. It's nice and firm ground up here. And it's right beside the loud stream, which is in flood. Now that's all alders in there, but it's very wet most of the year. As you can see, it's pretty waterlogged. That's why we call, around our pond, we call it Horseshoe Island because this marsh surrounds it. So there's my chair. It's not a great spot, right next to the overflow. So this is Frogway. I'm going to make a sign for it, of course, because that's what I do. Okay, bye.